Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button to see future videos. So today I have a very special bonus video for you using a revolutionary water slide that was sent to me by Koala. And I want to share a little bit about it with you. So this is a no need spray water spray. How? I don't know. This is amazing. You can just use your inkjet or laser, yes, inkjet, print it out, and you do not need to seal this. Um, I always print out two images if I'm not doing a full wrap, um, just in case I mess up. So I'm like blown away that this does not need spray. This is a white-backed um, uh, water slide. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm starting with a sublimation tumbler because that has become one of my favorite things to use. I don't need to spray it, but I do sand it lightly. And with it being a white backed, um, it isn't going to matter. So I go ahead and I cut out my image and I'm putting it in some room temperature water and, and um, testing it to see if it's going to slide off. And um, if you can't tell I'm ready, I'm doing a back to school tumbler. So I get my tumbler wet and um, this is a thicker of a paper than the thin, um, than the clear. Um, I'm so impressed with this paper. You know, you guys have seen me in the past struggle with water slide. So yeah, I go ahead and I lay this on the bottom half of my tumbler, only on half side of uh, this tumbler. And I take my squeegee not knowing what to expect, thinking for sure this was going to run. Now, I will say um, I was being very gentle at first, and um, this, like I said, it was a thicker paper, so I didn't know really what to expect, and I am I am blown away. I started getting a little rougher with it, and it didn't tear on me. It didn't, um, it didn't fade. It didn't run. Nothing of that. And I will be using another part of the water slide a little later in the video. Um, but I am so impressed that this did not need sealed at all. Especially to put it into the water. <laughs> so yeah. So here I'm letting it, I'm patting it dry, I'm rubbing it, it's not smearing, it's not tearing, none of that. I am absolutely impressed. I will be putting the dis the link to this product in my description box below. So make sure you check this out. You don't have to seal it. I am I'm shocked. And one less step I have to do, I'm all for it. So I go ahead and I let this dry. Um so that I can move on to my next step. So that did not take long to dry at all. And then so the next step I'm doing, I'm doing a um, a burst ish type, you know how I'm obsessed with doing those. So on the other side, completely across the entire back of the tumbler, I am going to do a pencil. Now this tumbler has multiple steps. I am doing a back to school tumbler. It is that season. Tis the season back to school. I know some of your mamas are extremely happy, but this would be a perfect gift for any teacher out there. So here I am taking off the a corner of the backing or attempting to. I struggled with this one, of course, always on the struggle bus. So as I'm pulling off the back, whenever I do get it, I will put this on the back opposite side of where I put the paper. I cut off the little bit of that backing and place it on like I always do and then line it up on the back to get it as even, because you know I don't measure. So as soon as I get it where I want it, I do remove that little backing to completely secure it down to the back. And then of course, um, I start to remove little elements of the thing, of the, um, of the template. So I'm starting with my darkest color first, which is black, and that will be my lead. And um, the, the this little lines in the in the you know the metal part of the pencil. So I do use this black, which is um, a mixture that I came up with my own. 
it's just black with Michaels and a little bit of City Lights from the Glitter Heart Co. Everything will be listed in the description box below. Description box. So I brush off the glitter that's remaining so that I don't contaminate anything else. And then I will move into um, the next color, which is the silver, which is the metal in the pencil. And I do use City Lights for that. And I rub that in and brush it off. And then I will move into the bulk of the pencil, which I am using Pencil by The Glitter Guy. This is a stunning yellow. It is, I mean, gorgeous. Very vibrant. Love it. So I rub all of that in. And then if you notice, there is no wood on this pencil. But I have something in mind for that later. I did not want to use glitter. So anyway, as I'm burnishing all of that down and then clean up my mess, and then I'm going to go into the eraser. I didn't want to use just a light pink, so I mixed um, a combination of um, these two pinks. It's, uh, oh gosh, I can't think of what it was. <laughs> I will get it in the description box below, but I mixed two pinks together so that I had kind of um, a color variant in there. And I think it turned out really nice. So I brush that off and clean up my mess. So I'm brushing off the entire tumbler because then it's time to go on to my next step, which I found this amazing glitter. It is um, by the Glitter Heart Co. It is a kind of a matte, chunky, I don't even know. It's not super bright glittery, but it's called Blank and Spade. I mixed them myself. They came separately. I mixed it into this big bottle. And it makes the perfect composition notebook mix. And so I am um, putting a super thick-ish um, coat of Mod Podge on the top half of the other side of the tumbler above where I had put the water slide. And I am going to lay and press down this glitter mixture um, on there. And um, it did not like the Mod Podge, but I did not want to go over epoxy just yet. Um, and I thought that the Mod Podge would be the best, but I can't stand working with Mod Podge most times if I can help it, but I made it work. So I am going through and pressing it down and I do add more Mod Podge and pressing it down, going back and forth. But in the end, it was so worth the hassle to make this work. Once I get all of this glittering completely done, I gave this three coats of the Rust-Oleum Clear Coat Spray and then two coats of the Speedy Peedy before I can move on to the very next step. Because this was a very thick um, glitter, it really needed those th that nice thick um, epoxy to kind of give me a good surface to work with and it still needed quite a bit of sanding. So once I'm done, I thought I was recording the first time in a, of course I wasn't, so I peeled off <laughs> my first attempt. That's why I always print too. So here we're back in working on the composition. I am putting my water slide into room temp water, getting my tumbler nice and wet and letting that water slide you know, get wet so that it can release from the backing and testing it to see if it's ready. And once it is, it will slide off of that backing nicely. And as you can see, then you can slide it off and put it on. Some people have much luck just sliding it right on there. I don't. Okay. The only issue that I had found with this water slide, like I said before, was the, I didn't see it run or anything. The black ink, I have found that 
does tend to run if you don't seal it. It's not that big of a of a difference, but you can see it smudge a little. That was the only thing, like the first water slide that I did that when I wasn't recording, when I used my silicone tool, it did smudge. So here I'm just placing it and I'm using my um, napkin or my paper towel to kind of roll it out and roll out the water underneath of it so that I don't get any smudging. And I didn't have as many issues with the with the ink running then. But that was the only issue that I found. I'm still extremely impressed with this water slide and you need to go out and buy it. Okay, so once that is done, it was time for me to move on back to the pencil side. I cut out on white matte vinyl, the pencil shape or the, you know, the wood part. And I'm using Latte from Tim Holtz and I'm going to wood grain this vinyl. And I just squirt it on there and I just paint it on and then I'm going to go back and kind of just give it a quick wood grain. I'm just taking a makeup brush, which is how I tend to do my wood grains. And um, I'm not getting fancy with it. I'm just running back and forth. Um, I just wanted to have that wood grain effect. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, initially just making sure that the entire paper was covered and then going back and kind of making little lines to, you can tell that it's wood. So that is what I'm doing here. And you'll be able to see the texture coming through and know that that's wood. Look how cool that is. So now I'm going to go ahead, I let that dry, and I'm going to go ahead and place it on the tumbler. Of course, I'm out of frame. Wouldn't be me if I wasn't. So I am struggling to put it on a little bit because um, I couldn't really use transfer tape because I didn't want to risk taking off any of the alcohol ink. So I just put it on there. And I got it on there fine and then smoothed it out. So then I am taking this really thin piece of black vinyl that I cut out on my silhouette and I'm going to line between the glitter and that vinyl that I cut out just to make it a little cleaner. Once that's done, I had cut out strips um, using this yellow vinyl and I'm going to go down from the tip of the pencil line down to the metal part of the pencil. Cut that off at the bottom and then up at the tip because it, I didn't want it blunt across. I kind of did it at an angle to where it goes to a point to a point, if that makes any sense at all. Um, I don't think that that was fully necessary, but it made me happy. So that's what I did. So I do that for each of them. I'm not going to make you watch me do each of those um, because it was such a small cut. It It's hard to see. And I would have had to zoom in five bazillion parts <laughs> for you to be able to see it. So I do show you just a couple here. And it's a very subtle yellow. But in person, you can definitely see just like on a pencil, it makes it look like that angled so it definitely was necessary instead of just for myself anyway to make it those lines so that it looks like a real pencil. And while offline, I did cut a silver line to go um, cover up those bottom yellow lines as well. 
And now I'm going back to the black lines and I had cut thicker black lines to go and put on each side of the tumbler between the pencil and the papers um, just to give it a definite break, if that makes sense. And so I just cut off the top and the bottom on each side. And then I um, do that on this side and I will do it on the other side as well. Once I get there. And then for, I just think this made this look a lot cleaner than nothing being there. And it covered up any mistakes in between the two halves. Um, but I never make mistakes, right? <laughs> and then in between the paper and the composition notebook, because obviously it's not the cleanest, I cut out just a little bit thinner to give that a nice clean look as well. I love this. So with all of that vinyl work, it definitely needed sealing. So I'm using Quick Coat by CCDIY, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, put a coat over all of that vinyl work. I do not want any of this to lift. There's too much going on, <laughs> and um, I did not want to have to go outside and spray this. So I'm just using my Quick Coat and going over all of it with the quick coat. So I only needed to do one final coat and I used my Speedy Peedy. And within two hours, I was able to turn the turner off and it was done. Absolutely love Speedy Peedy. I <laughs> definitely will be buying more of this. Actually, I already did. But anyway, <laughs> I love how thick it is and that most things only need one coat of it. I can't say enough about it. And here it is all finished. Look how gorgeous this is. I am so in love with it. This will be available on my website, and um, if you want to purchase it and add a name to it, we can definitely do that. Um, we can add it on the pencil, we can add it onto the composition notebook, or on the paper. Your choice, or you can leave it as it is. That's perfectly okay, too. <laughs> um, but I also did use this uh, water slide on a full wrap, which I did not do a video on, but I'm gonna insert on, and this is for a customer that I used it for. I'm gonna cover the name because I don't wanna dox anybody. But um, yeah, I, and I do not do full water slide wraps because I suck at them, and this was so easy. I'm telling you guys, check the description box below, run, do not walk, and go out and get this water slide paper. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a great big thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.